Hello, in this video we're going to do a general proof showing that the price elasticity of demand is unit elastic or minus one at the midpoint of any linear demand curve. So we'll start with a linear demand curve in just general functional form. Q equals A minus B times P. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the vertical intercept of the demand curve. Remember when we graph demand curves, price is on the vertical or y-axis and quantity is on the x or horizontal axis. So with price on the vertical axis, we're going to set Q equal to zero. So just setting this linear demand curve uh, where Q here is now going to be zero and we're going to solve for price. So zero equals A minus B times price moving some things around and then dividing by B price equals a divided by B so that's where the demand curve touches the vertical axis at a divided by B so given the demand touches the price axis as at a divided by B the midpoint on the demand curve oh, excuse me there we go uh, at the midpoint of the demand curve, the price will just equal half of this vertical intercept. So I got 0.5 times A divided by B. Uh, the next step is to find the horizontal intercept where the demand curve touches the quantity axis. So here we're going to set P equal to 0. When P is 0, Q equals A. And here again at the midpoint of the demand curve, quantity will take on half of this value, so at the midpoint of the demand curve, quantity will equal 0.5a. And this is what we did here uh, on the last screen. We found the vertical intercept at a divided by b. At the midpoint, the price will just be half that value. We found the horizontal intercept at a at the midpoint of the demand curve, the quantity will be half that value, in this case 0.5a. The final step is <coughs> just rewriting the linear demand curve in general functional form. We're going to calculate the elasticity of demand by taking the derivative of this demand equation and then multiplying it by p divided by q. So the derivative of this equation is just whatever is in front of the P term. In this case, it's minus B. We're going to evaluate the price elasticity of demand at a price, which corresponds to the midpoint of the linear demand curve, so 0.5A divided by B. And then the quantity will be at also uh, reflective of the quantity at the midpoint of the demand curve. So we're going to plug all these three values back into this elasticity of demand. I do that down here. So the minus B, the 0.5A divided by B, and then this is all divided by Q, which is now 0.5A. And this is nice. A lot of things just cancel out. Uh, the 1 half A and 1 half A cancel out. Then we have minus B divided by B here, and that's just minus 1. And that is the proof at a midpoint on any linear demand curve, the price elasticity of demand is minus one or unit elastic. Hope you found this video helpful.